This is difficult. Okay, one on the left. I'm gonna say with the Corvin system. Ah. <laughs> I'm Matthew Horky. For the last seven years, I've traveled around the world tasting thousands of wines annually in search of the most unique, exciting, and expensive bottles on the planet. So when it comes to wine preservation systems, Coravin and I think Repor have really dominated the market. Up until now, Coravin had two systems that you could opt for, their traditional needle-based system or the Coravin Pivot, which is a little bit cheaper. If you don't know what these systems are, I've got a lot of videos about what they are and what they actually do. I'll put it in the link in the description box below. Up until now, there wasn't a system that was really meant to preserve sparkling wine. And that's where Coravin comes in with their Coravin Sparkling System, which they claim can save a bottle of sparkling wine for up to two weeks. I'm gonna put that to the test. I'm gonna use it on a bottle of champagne, store it for two weeks, and then blind taste it next to a fresh bottle of that same champagne. I must say I'm a little bit skeptical of how this will preserve wines. These systems, they both shoot a layer of argon gas over the wine to prevent oxidation. However, the Corvin Sparkling uses something different. They're not shooting argon gas in, so oxygen will come in contact with the wine. We'll see how it ends up. All you're doing is you're shooting carbon dioxide oxide into the bottle. You're re-bubbling it. Let's open the box and see what's inside. The first thing that you're going to get are these Coravin capsules. Now these are filled with carbon dioxide, CO2, not argon like the normal Coravin system. So you need to buy separate capsules. Comes also with the instruction booklet, comes with this little bottle sleeve. This is just for liability purposes. You're supposed to put it on so the bottle doesn't explode. In the box, you're also going to get two of these tops that go on top of the sparkling wine. These are vitally important when using the Coravin sparkling system. And then it comes also with the Coravin sparkling unit itself. Things I like on first glance, there is aluminum. It's not all plastic. It's nice. It's heavy. Has this nice rubberized grip. Feels just real sturdy in the hands. It looks like they worked really hard on it, but let's see. So first to load the system, you're going to want to go to the front of the Coravin system. You see this little tab. You're going to lift that up and then right underneath, there's a little button right here that you're going to press. This will pop out. And then there's another button here. You press down and this releases the CO2 cartridge system. You're gonna wanna take one of these CO2 cartridges with the round bottom side and you're gonna stick that towards the bottom. You're gonna push in that door and you're gonna bring this latch down and it's gonna take a little bit of force. You push it down, you pull down this latch that locks everything in the place that opens up the CO2 cartridge. You'll see this color indicator go from red to green once that CO2 is all loaded up. When Corvin approached me, they're not paying for this video. They just offered me a system to use. I wanted to check it out because the videos out there are just people trying to introduce it, not actually putting it to the test. So let's see if this works. The champagne that I've chose is the champagne Nicolas Foyet. This is the reserve exclusive Brut non-vintage champagne. This is one of the best bargains when it comes to champagne. Anywhere from 30 to 35 bucks. I got two bottles of this for $30 each. I think that I've always liked this too because it's in the Blanc de Noir style, basically champagne made from red grapes. This is 40% Pinot Noir, 40% Meunier, also a red grape, 20% Chardonnay. Is it the great greatest champagne in the world, no, but it's very, very good, always shows well in blind tastings, and it's affordable. For people that have never really tried champagne before, this is something I highly recommend. Let's open it up, put the Corvin system on. Okay, I got my second bottle of champagne out of the fridge, nice and cold. If you're opening sparkling wine, champagnes, Proseccos, you gotta make sure they're really, really cold, otherwise that when you open them, the pressure can pop the cork off. You can hurt somebody, or you'll lose some wine, more importantly. It's super important to actually remove all of the foil when you're using this Corvin system, because you're gonna put the topper on top of this. What I think I would do is I would just take all the foil off, turn the bottle like so, Okay, I'm gonna pour myself a healthy glass of sparkling wine because I wanna drink some champagne today. It's plus, I wanna see how the, how the wine does with a lot of exposure to oxygen. Ah, look at that champagne. Honestly, this is one of the best deals in champagne. Baked apple, brioche, like everything that I would expect in champagne, lemon, mineral, flint notes. Bubbles are really fine. It's just nice champagne, just nice champagne. Take this top of the Corvin system. What you're gonna do is release this lever and we're gonna stick it right on top of the bottle. You're gonna hear a little bit of a click and then you push this lever down. This is gonna take a little bit of force 
Okay, next, all you do is you're gonna stick the Corvin sparkling system right on top here. It's a mechanical system. It's supposed to, I think it reads by pressure. You're gonna hear that noise. And when the red goes from green, you know it's charged up with carbon dioxide. Once you're all done with the Corvin sparkling system, all you do is you just rub the bottom with a damp cloth. You're good to go for the next bottle. We're ready to put this in the fridge and let's see how it's gonna be. Okay, I'll see you in two weeks. Okay, it's actually been two weeks and a day. So I stretched it out one day longer than Corvin recommended. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open this up. I'm gonna pour a glass of each. I'm gonna have somebody mix it up. We're gonna blind taste and see how this Corvin system did. I'm a little skeptical. Before we get started, I wanna thank my members at Patreon for helping here. Most of the wines on this channel are samples. However, once in a while, I do have to purchase a few wines to complete a set to do a video. And that's what happened here. I wanna have two bottles of the same champagne side by side. For some reason, I'm just not in with champagne producers uh, at the moment. So these have both been in the fridge where most people are gonna store sparkling wines. I know that also helped preserve the wine in a way too because cold temperature can slows down oxidation. Okay, let's uh, open this up. What you have to do here is you have to tilt this. It will let out some excess gas. What you do is you take this, you tilt it, you're gonna hear some gassing just like that then you're gonna take this bad boy off make sure you tilt the handle all the way up and then you're ready to pour let's get these poured and I'm gonna have somebody mix them up let's see how they do so first of all can't tell a difference between the bubbles and both of them as you could expect because you're shooting carbon dioxide into the bottle with it let's give these a smell Baked apple, lemon, biscuit, all the things that we love about champagne. One on the left smells good, let's see on the one on the right, if there's, it's fresher, it's duller. Also biscuity, also lemony. I feel this has a little bit more bruised apple, so maybe this is the one with the Corvette. We'll see how it is on the taste. Mm. <sighs> Hold on a second. Now I come back and this one's a little duller. Let's see here. <laughs> I need some champagne. <laughs> Bubbles are nice and fine here. Let's see the one on the right. Bubbles are also fine here. Ah, uh, this is difficult. This is difficult. I was actually really skeptical of how this machine would work because you're not shooting in argon. You're shooting only in carbon dioxide. Then again, the refrigeration helped. I've done this these tests with Corvin bottles and stuck these white wines in the fridge and you know, sometimes they've lost some of their freshness. I have to say, I don't know. Hold on. These two are almost identical. I keep going back and forth to see if this one has a little bit longer of a finish. I think to most people, they're not gonna be able to spot the difference. I'm going to lean that this one is the fresh bottle because there is just like the slightest, and I'm talking about the slightest bit more fruit on the mid palette. Uh, these are super close. You ready for the reveal? I mean, if I was scoring these in a competition, for me, it's like, not even a half a point of difference. Pretty darn similar, maybe just a slight edge to this one. You ready for the reveal? <laughs> okay here, so I thought this would be easy. I'm really nervous about this. I thought this one on the left, uh, I'm gonna say that this is the bottle accessed with the Corvin system. Let me, let me just double check. <laughs> Okay, one on the left. I'm gonna say with the Corvin system. Ah, <laughs> it is the one axis with the Corvin system. Very close. So this is the fresh bottle. Like I said, it's only only the slightest bit of difference. So is this for you? This is super well built. You know, it's the best built Corvin system that I've ever used. It's the heaviest, it's made out of metal. I think it's for people that are really gonna have several different kind of champagnes open, maybe during the course of the week, or uh, maybe they wanna have a glass of this, maybe they wanna have a glass of vintage one night, a glass of their non-vintage, maybe their wife, their partner likes rosé. Uh, the bubbles, I could tell no difference. I thought they were really, really well done. It'd be interesting if this is useful for Prosecco. The only cons here is the price. This is coming in now. It's on sale now it's like 280 bucks then you have these cartridges a six pack of these are 44 bucks it ends up being a, approximately seven dollars 25 cents a capsule you get seven bottles out of one capsule so that's one dollar per bottle is it worth it this is the ultimate wine geek toy wine bars restaurants 
uh, hardcore wine geeks, I think are gonna have use for this. I also think it might be a good tool for wine writers, wine media, people that run events. For most other people, I don't think I could recommend this to the casual wine drinker, but I highly, highly recommend this for your restaurant if you're running a sparkling wine by the glass program. Sometimes we have really expensive bottles and that goes to champagne as well. And it kind of hurts because you want to open some of these, but you don't want to feel the pressure to drink everything, sparkling wine especially. So maybe you just use this, you get a couple of these tops. These are also expensive. I think they're about 70 bucks for two of them. But hey, maybe you have three or four of them. You can have three or four champagnes open every night. But again, wine geek problems. So tell me, what do you think about the Corvin sparkling system? Have you used it before? I'd love to hear in the comments below. Thanks a lot. I'll see you soon.